So this is going to be a quick tutorial about trees and how to create them in Blender, something like this. And so you can read the article if you want. I'll leave the link in the description. And here's the modeling part. So unfortunately, uh, the article doesn't give you step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial, but just vaguely explains uh, how he did it. These are the texture for the leaves and they are pretty, pretty easy to make. I made mine in Procreate, but you can use Photoshop or you can, uh, I mean, you can use Affinity. So let's, let's get into Blender and start making it. So for trunk, I'm not going to create the whole thing, but I'm going to use add on in Blender, go to add ons and then search tree and enable sapling tree generator go to curve and then sapling tree gen so let's okay levels to I'm just trying to reduce the number of branches like there were too many but yeah something like this this can work so after the tray I mean you're happy with the settings you can play with all the different options you you have available in the tree generator but I think this is cool now so go to object convert to mesh from curve so this will become a mesh i have enabled normals so i'll just dis disable those and now we have a base for our tree i'm gonna add a sphere and maybe move it up and start giving it some rough shape like a volume for the leaves and I think for this one it looks nice I'll add one here yeah I want this to be smaller that's too big So you can like shape your uh, tree volume, I mean for, for leaves, you know, however you like. I'm just gonna keep it very very simple. Let's grab that and add a smaller one here, a cute one.
Okay, I'll call this all done. Uh, looks pretty pretty good. Yeah, and now all I'll merge these spheres into a single object, and that's my transform. Move this to a new collection. Name it these because we are gonna get a bunch of leaves uh, so now I'm just gonna make a plane and like disable all these make a plane duplicate it and yeah rotate it duplicate and rotate so you'll get something like this after this, what you need to do is go to the spheres, I mean the volume of the tree and go to particle system, add a new particle system here, advanced, then in render go to object and in object select the plane, I mean the leaves that we had, increase the volume. I mean size something like this and wait I'll just move the plane out so that we have sphere in the in the collection and I'm just gonna show you why so let's hit convert so after you hit convert you get a bunch of different planes so just to fix that what you need to do is come on i guess this is the sphere so delete it now we only have these leaves leaves and i'll delete the plane now we don't need it and this and we can select everything here and before joining them I'm, I'm gonna add a bit of randomness to do this uh, all you need to do is select everything go to object transform randomize transform so I'm just gonna uh, I mean randomize the rotation of the of the paddles of the planes and use whatever setting you like and i'm gonna join them mm, let's increase the size of, i mean the scale of the planes a bit individual origins scale something like this scale it i guess everything looks good enable our tree so this is our leaves part let's add a material now and name this material um, bark and for leaves we will just do leaves leaves and let's export it i mean it's not finished yet but let's export it ADDD. Or name it tree a proper tree in unity import your tree mm, go to material extract materials here then drag it Transform. I'm just gonna, gonna fix the camera a bit. Park leaves a shader. I'm gonna use leaves shader in Unity and add, add the texture. So, this is what you get if you do the steps correctly. But we are not done yet. Uh, we need to fix the normals. As you can see, we can uh, like 
see all the different planes in, in the tree so to fix that uh, this is a simple step and he also did it here he fixes the normals uh, you can read it here because the normals are smooth per group leaves little level so to do that we're just gonna use a sphere move it up scale it so that it eats up the whole tree something like that and let's select the leaves go to object data and then enables auto smooth so in auto smooth i'm going to just shade this smooth and go to modifiers data transfer now select the sphere face corner data and project face interpolate it and then hit apply and delete the sphere oh we didn't do it properly i'm so sorry i didn't enable custom normals so as you can see it's exactly looks the same but if you hit custom normals you will see that it is more smooth i mean uniformly smooth delete this oh no i didn't need apply it sorry 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 delete the sphere get the tree export it fbx and let's name this tree one oh yeah tree one import tree one goes there Yep. Wait. I'll just put the leaves and the bark. I don't have any color for bark, but yeah. You can set it. Let's see. So here's your tree. And I don't really like sky bugs. I just use color. This pops up whole scene so there you go you have your tree and if you want to kind of make them sway in the wind you can use a vertex displacement shader uh, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube or somewhere but yeah uh, this is the modeling part it is done here and i guess i i mean i hope it helped yeah it's finished thank you very much for watching and uh, if you want to download this tree you can download it from sketchfab thank you